Telecommunications in Jamaica. Telecommunications in Jamaica include radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Radio and television. Radio stations, privately owned Radio Jamaica Limited and its subsidiaries operate multiple radio stations. There are roughly 70 other privately owned radio stations 2007. Radios 1. 215 million 1997. Television stations, privately owned Radio Jamaica Limited and its subsidiaries operate multiple TV stations as well as subscription cable services. There are two other privately owned television stations 2007. Television sets, 460,000 1997. Telecommunications. Country code, plus 1-876. Plus 1658 International Call Prefix, 11 Outside NAND. Calls from Jamaica to the U.S., Canada, and other NAND Caribbean nations are dialed as 1 plus NAND area code plus 7 digit number. Calls from Jamaica to non NAND countries are dialed as 11 plus country code plus phone number with local area code. Number format NXXXXXX. Main lines, 265,000 lines in use, 123rd in the world, 2011. Mobile cellular, 2. 7,135,000 in the world, 2012. Telephone system, fully automatic domestic telephone network. The 1999 agreement opened the market for telecommunications services resulted in rapid growth in mobile cellular telephone usage while the number of fixed lines in use declined 2011. Teledensity, 110 per 100 persons combined 2011. Satellite Earth Stations, 2 Intelsat Atlantic Ocean 2010. Communication Cables, Fibralink submarine cable links to the Americas region Caribbean ring system Arcos 1 submarine cable in the Dominican Republic and on to the U.S., parts of the Caribbean, Central and South America. The Alba 1 fiber optic submarine cable links Jamaica, Cuba, and Venezuela 2010. Jamaica has a fully digital telephone communication system. Mobile telephony. The country's three mobile operators cable and wireless once marketed as Lime Landline, Internet, Mobile and Entertainment, now named Flow Digital, and at one point Oceanic Digital operating as My Phone and now known as Claro since late 2008 until the carrier was acquired and the relevant spectrum sold to Digital have spent millions in network upgrade and expansion. Both Digital and Oceanic Digital were granted licenses in 2001 to operate mobile services in the newly liberalized telecom market that had once been the sole domain of the incumbent cable and wireless monopoly. Digital opted for the more widely used GSM wireless system, while Oceanic opted for the CDMA standard. Cable and wireless, which had begun with TDMA standard, subsequently upgraded to GSM and currently utilizes both standards on its network. With wireless usage increasing, landlines supplied by cable and wireless have declined from just over half a million to roughly about 300,000 as of 2006. In a bid to grab more market share, Cable and Wireless recently launched a new landline service called Home Phone Prepaid that would allow customers to pay for minutes they use rather than pay a set monthly fee for service, much like prepaid wireless service. Two more licenses were auctioned by the Jamaican government, provide mobile services on the island, including one that was previously owned by at NT Wireless but never utilized, and one new license. Another entrant to the Jamaican communications market, Flo, laid a new submarine cable connecting Jamaica to the United States. This new cable increases the total number of submarine cables connecting Jamaica to the rest of the world to four. The company's parent was acquired by Cable and Wireless Communications in November 2014 and finalized in March 2015. 
The new flow was relaunched as a successor to Lime and the old flow on August 31, 2015, offering mobile, fixed voice, fixed broadband and TV services to the market. It has now become the first quad play provider in Jamaica. The company runs a vast copper network inherited from Lime Islandwide, as well as a hybrid fiber and coaxial network from the old flow in the metropolitan areas of Kingston and Montego Bay. They also have small fiber to the home operations in certain sections of St. James that began in 2011 under Lime. On the mobile side, the company had completed its 4G H SPA Plus rollout capable of speeds up to 21 Mbit slash S across the island in November 2015 and has announced plans to move to LTE within the year 2016. However, Digisol has become the first LTE network operator in Jamaica going live with their network on June 9, 2016. Internet Internet Top Level Domain JM Registration of JM Domains is handled by MITS at the University of the West Indies. Registration is free, although there has been some discussion about MITS making the service commercial in the coming years. Internet Users 1. 3 million users, 108th in the world, 46. 5% of the population, 94th in the world, 2012. Fixed broadband, 125,188 subscriptions, 96th in the world, 4. 3% of population, 109th in the world, 2012. Wireless broadband, 45,505 subscriptions, 127th in the world, 1. 6% of the population, 128th in the world, 2012. Internet hosts, 3,906 hosts, 149th in the world, 2012. IPv4, 202,752 addresses allocated, less than 0. 5% of the world total, 70. 1 addresses per 1,000 people, 2012. Internet censorship and surveillance. There are no government restrictions on access to the Internet or credible reports that the government monitors email or Internet chat rooms without judicial oversight. The law provides for freedom of speech and press, and the government generally respects these rights in practice. An independent press, generally effective judicial protection, and a functioning democratic political system combine to ensure freedom of speech and press. The independent media are active and express a wide variety of views without restriction. Broadcast media were largely state-owned, but open to pluralistic points of view. Although the Constitution prohibits arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence, in practice the police conduct searches without warrants. A law decriminalizing defamation was passed by the Jamaican House of Representatives in November 2013 after being approved unanimously by the Senate the previous July. It took six years to amend the libel and slander laws, which although little used made media offenses punishable by imprisonment.